Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and welcome on back to another reaction video. If you have no idea who I am, my name is Sam, aka OGB Reacts. I'm a first time movie reactor here on YouTube, posting every Tuesday and Friday, and I also stream over here occasionally as well. Today's video is a level 5 Patreon tier movie request from Ryan, and Ryan wants me to watch Ed Wood from 1994. As per usual with every single movie that I watch on this channel, I have absolutely no idea what's going to happen, especially with this one because I've never even heard of it before. But nonetheless, I am excited to jump on into this and get started. So thank you so much to Ryan for subscribing at that tier over on Patreon and requesting this film. I hope you specifically enjoy this reaction. And to the rest of you over on Patreon, I also appreciate you over there. Thank you so much for being there. Thank you so much for your support. And I hope you're enjoying all the full unedited reaction videos and the access to the polls. If you want to watch the full unedited version of this video or to anything else on my channel, you can absolutely do so over on my Patreon. It is $5 a month for that. I also have a tier over there that is solely for the polls, which are ran every single Friday, and that is $2 a month for that. So yeah, I'm interested to get started with this, always excited to watch whatever movie I can. Really do hope that you guys like this reaction, and I shall see you on the other side. Enjoy! Dracula? Frankenstein? <laughs> Dead man? Crazy, my friend. Hello. I actually don't know who Ed Wood is. I believe, I think I read that Ed Wood was a director. I think that's all I know, though. I'm assuming... <laughs> what in the world? I'm assuming Ed Wood did some crazy paranormal stuff like this. Don't take it too seriously. We're all doing great work. Do you really think so? Absolutely. <laughs> what if I just don't got it? Ed, it was only one review. I'm just scared that it's not going to get any better than this. I can understand that. <laughs> Where's my pink sweater? I can never seem to find my clothes anymore. Ed, do you have one? <laughs> so this probably, I, yeah, I guess this probably takes place in what, 50s? This is fantastic. Maybe, maybe earlier. I don't know. You know that Christine Jorgensen freak? Mm -hmm. She it's in Variety. Some producers making a biopic. If we could get together, I could explain to you why I'm more qualified to direct this than anyone else in town. Well, I'd rather not go into that over the phone. Interesting. <laughs> I have never told anyone what I'm about to tell you. Oh? But I really want this job. I like to dress in women's clothing. Huh. You a fruit? No, not at all. I love women. You're fruit? Mm -hmm. Wearing their clothes makes You're me fruit? feel closer to them. You're not a fruit. No, I'm all man. I even fought in WW2. Of course, I was wearing women's undergarments under my uniform. <laughs> well, that's very interesting. Okay. Did not expect that. Oh, good lord. Oh. So constrictive. <laughs> I can't even fold my arm. <laughs> I mean, you're not gonna know. <laughs> Why are you buying a car? I'm planning on dying soon. No. <laughs> you're much scarier in real life than you are in the movie. Oh my god. Thank you. <laughs> I, I refuse to drive in this country. Too many madmen. Well, I've got to feel that. Uh, <laughs> Perhaps we could get together again sometime, Mr. Lagosi. Certainly. Uh. I met Bella Lugosi. Well, I thought he was dead. No, he's very much alive. He is trying to choose his own coffin right now, so... He's a junkie. He don't deserve to work. That's Jeez. not true. He's so great, you hire him. <laughs> well, well, I would if I could. Probably will if he gets his own picture. Oh my god, <laughs> look at those little dogs! I need to take my medicine. What is happening? Oh. I feel much better. What? Children! I love children! <laughs> oh my goodness. Those teeth don't frighten me. <laughs> How about these? Oh my goodness. <laughs> hey, how'd you do that? Dentures. Lost my pearlies in the war. Oh wow. <laughs> I don't make major motion pictures. I make crap. Yeah. <laughs> I love how he has just like so much pride in it, you know? I make shit. Lagosi? Yes. Lagosi. Isn't he dead? 
No, he's not oh dead. He lives God. in Baldwin Hills. Why would Lugosi want to do a sex change flick? Because he's my friend. Well, I don't think he knows that right, it's... Fine. Oh, you right. God. You got the new movie for me, eh? Oh, yes. boy. Here we go. <sighs> this is going to go interestingly. <laughs> I finished my script. Wow. Oh, boy. Oh! Did not anticipate that. Well, this is my way of telling you. What, by putting it in a fucking script for everyone to see? What kind of sick mind operates like that? And what about this, this so-called Barbara character that's obviously me? Oh. I mean, this is our life, it's so embarrassing! It's about this guy. He's crazy about this girl, but he likes to wear dresses. Should he tell her? Should he not tell her? Yeah, so he really took this movie and made it sort of an autobiography. Can I get everyone Bold, please? I guess. Excuse me, Eddie, I don't mean to interrupt, but I'm worried about the light. Good thinking. Although they're all casual about it. I guess they've seen him cross dress. This is very interesting. I did not anticipate this uh, kind of turn, this kind of thing. I thought at first that he was really going to be playing the role of the... Oh. Oh, no. They said that he was a junkie before, so... Oh, no. You were great as Karloff's sidekick. Sidekick? Fuck you! Oh! Karloff does not deserve to smell my shit! That limey cocksucker can rot in hell for all I care! I'm ready now! Roll the camera! <laughs> yeah, this is gonna turn into chaos, probably. How can you just walk around like that in front of all these people? Well, huh, nobody's bothered but you. Look around. That is kind of true. Isn't the real world? You've surrounded yourself with a bunch of weirdos! Oh, oh good lord. <laughs> it's kind of hard to like talk about it because you can't really be necessarily mad at like certain things that are said but still it's kind of just like you know bride of the atom ah atomic age stuff huh he's just shooting it he had no idea i like it, I like oh, it. of course the one movie <laughs> But this is probably another one of Billy Weldon's practical jokes. Oh, oh boy. Uh, they're gonna like it for all the fun the funny reasons. Great. Yep. I wish I hadn't blown every dime I ever made into making this stink bomb! Oh. And if I ever see you again, I'll kill you! Oh boy. Hello? Not good. I'm getting my first series of hormone injections. Oh. When those girls kick in, they're gonna take out my organs and make me a woman. Wow. Are you serious? It's something I've wanted to do for a long time. But it wasn't until I saw your movie that I realized I have to take action. Goodbye, penis. Wow. Can you imagine what that guy would look like in a movie? <sighs> yeah, really, right? Getting that guy to play a monster? That'd be pretty good. Oh my God. <gasps> Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, he's eating a whole ch okay. I'm a movie director. Goofies. Like the Mickey Mouse? Sure. Like like the Mickey Mouse. Please come over. Bella. Uh that's not good. Oh god, he probably Oh no. No, the dog's whimpering. Oh no! What's in the name? Morphine. Ah. The Demerol Chaser. Jeez. <laughs> Is he available Friday night? Well, gee, I suppose so. Why? Ah. Uh. April 19th, 1970. I predict men will have colonized Mars. Millions of people will live there. Well. Wow. Greetings! I am uh, the cow! Oh no. Well, he mentioned that the whole live TV thing, he's not really used to it, so. Look at him bouncing up and down over there. <laughs> In a normal studio, it'd be about a million bucks with all their wasteful overhead and fancy offices. But we're more efficient, so we could bring it in at about 70 grand. Wow. 
That's quite the difference in money. Now, lady, how do we do? We didn't make a nickel. I cannot believe I'm in Hollywood. That's unfortunate. I was about to say, I hope this does well, but damn it. Hi, would you like some water? No. No water. No liquids. I'm terribly allergic to them. What? You know, I work in Hollywood. I'm a producer. What? <laughs> Have you ever thought about investing in a motion picture? Perhaps a small amount of money. Well, my new one, I think, would be about $60,000. That's all? That seems very reasonable for an entire picture. Oh, my goodness. It's like, oh, this was easier than I thought. Do you think it would be possible for me to maybe play one of these parts? Oh, there it is. Janet Lawton is clearly the part to play. Oh. Isn't that the part Can't that you is... Just see me in the part? ...girlfriend is playing, or...? You'd be perfect. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, he definitely. Oh! Nice shot, though, but damn, that's terrible! Yeah, that was definitely a mistake on his part a bit, but it was the only way the movie could be made. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Perfect. <laughs> Let's move on. I am terribly sorry to bother you while you're shooting. Oh my God. But the guy that owns the stage needs his money. Well, then you should pay him, shouldn't you? Yes, exactly. Uh. I kind of need it now. And now I need the other 60,000. What other 60,000? The other 60,000 you said you'd give to me. You misunderstood, Eddie. I gave you everything I have in the world, $300. What? Oh my god. Of course. Of course. Of course. Next year's smash hit. Wow, she uh really played him not even like that hard. This role is Vampira played. Vampira? Why do you ask? Yeah, what over there? Uh-oh. It would just take one second. Come on over and meet the backers. There is a really nice dentist from Oxnard. Look, buddy, I've got oh. real offers from real studios. I don't need to blow some dentist for a part. Forget it. Ooh! I'm getting a bad feeling about this. Let's get oh, out of here. Oh, no! Oh, it's all falling apart. I want the movie to end with a big explosion. Okay, okay. But it ends with Dr. Vornoff falling into the pit. Not anymore. Number two, I got a son. And something tells me he'd make a hell of a leading man. Sounds perfect. Oh, this guy, this poor guy is, keeps getting kind of boned, honestly. But he's he's being sporadic. He's just kind of jumping on into things and not really thinking about them, so... I'm Loretta King. Oh, here, take the chair. No, don't be silly. Let Harry finish. You still need some more work. Oh! No. All right, everybody, that's it for today. Prop crew has a little errand to run. An errand? Are you guys? What are you guys doing? Okay. Uh. No more. No fix. Oh, good. There you go. Yep. Yep. That's okay. It's beautiful. Are you sure this is gonna work? Um. killed him oh my god okay he's still alive at least it was that guy who got smushed he's kind of used to being smushed a little bit no it has to be oh, underwater oh this is all of this is so bad i mean he's trying but it's really it's just not working no god damn it's cold It'll warm up once you're in it. Fuck you, you come out here. <laughs> hey, so when you get in there and fight with him, shake his legs around. It looks like he's killing you. Okay. So bad. This is just, this is literally just a dumpster fire continuously burning and you're watching it burn. <laughs> For not having a motor, I guess is the best that he could do. I want you to know how much I appreciate all you've done for me. Well, there are not a lot of fellas I do it for. <laughs> oh. Well, that's nice. Yeah. Mexico was 
a nightmare. Oh no. We got in a car accident. Jeez. He was killed. Oh, that's so sad. It's kind of interesting to see that there are just like the majority of people in this movie seeing uh Ed in women's clothing and hearing that he was gonna be going for a sex change operation. They were just kinda cool with it. They're like, ah, cool, all right. There was like no like freak outs except for Ed's girlfriend. But everyone else seemed very casual about it. I guess it has to kind of do with the culture of theater and film though, you know? You people are insane! You're wasting your life making shit! Nobody cares, these movies are terrible! Oh, wow. But Poodle. I just stuck it out so you could finish your movie. And now that it's done, so am I. Wow. Yeah, I had a feeling she wasn't really going to last. I guess, you know, I can understand her freaking out and everything. I don't know. It's such a, you understand, but you're kind of just like, eh, right? Uh, listen, I was wondering if you'd like to go out sometime, grab some dinner, maybe. You mean a date? I thought you were a no, no, I'm just a transvestite. Oh my god. So, <laughs> how's about Friday night? Hello? Oh. Help me. Oh my god. Hello? Oh, hello? Love you, Ma. I have nothing to live for. Oh, you should come with me. Um. Um. I'm so sorry. Uh huh. So Everything will be okay. <sighs> I feel really bad for him. To the hospital you go. I have been a drug addict for 20 years. 20? Good lord. I need help. What you making? Booties for my father. Gets cold in the hospital. Oh, hi, Ed. He's got a lot of visitors today. Ah. Uh. After all these years, the press is finally interested in getting Bela Lugosi. Yeah, for Bella. like tabloids. Oh. Those people are parasites. Yeah. They just want to exploit you. Fine. Let them. There is no such thing as bad press, I think. Ah. I'm about to tell you something that I never told any girl on a first date. Oh boy. I like to wear women's clothes. And I can't believe I'm telling you this, but I really like you and I don't want it getting in the way down the road. Very fair. To clear it up now. You don't like sex with girls? No, I love sex with girls. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hey, there we go. Okay. Well, isn't that nice? See? See, we thought that Mr. Lugosi was insured through his union. Oh. Uh... No, they say that his eligibility ran out years ago. Oh, no. He's going to have to leave. Damn. That sucks. The doctor says you're all better than... You can go home now. Uh, definitely a slight I lie. Feel so great. Yeah, no. no. Oh, this is really bad. So what's the scene about? What if I'm not in so big a hurry? What if I take a moment to slow down, to smell the budding flowers? That's great. Oh, I hope it goes well. Right in there. Where she Thank came? God you're here. They're tearing up the place. Te what? Come what? Come on. What in the world is going on? Oh my God! Little shit! What? What is with people? What the hell just happened? Oh my God! What? What? I don't know. Oh. What is happening? What is everyone just on drugs? Like, what, why are they acting so insane? I want to thank you. These last few days have been a good time. Mr. Lugosi, can I have your autograph? Hey, okay. I'm glad that people Never recognized him. Again. Wood Productions. And he's dead, isn't he? E Oh, one last kick of life. Yeah, at least he gave that to him. That's good. One last hurrah. He made him happy. 
That's sad, though. Oh. I see you're in the picture business. Yes. I'm interested in the picture business. Mm. My associates and I, we wish to produce a series of uplifting religious films about the apostles. But unfortunately, we don't have enough money. Well, well he doesn't either. Raising money stuff. No, our church has enough money for one film. We just don't have enough for all 12. 12? Well. He's going to try to get in on it. Don't the big hits always have big stars? Well, we have a big star. Bella Lagos? Oh, I thought he passed on. Yes, he did. So but is that footage of him? I've got the last footage he ever shot. We're making another movie. Yes, I got the Baptist Church of Beverly Hills to put up the cash. Wow. Keep Sunday open. The producers want us to get baptized. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, my goodness. I love how she's just, she's just in on it. Is there another, there's another dog. How many dogs are there? Eddie, look at this. Oh. Why? Poor girl's out of a job. Well. Oh, does he look like... Oh my goodness. Welcome to the fold, brother. Oh, good lord. In a pool? Wow. Is it a holy pool? <laughs> Did they fill it up with holy water? The script contains numerous references to grave robbing. Now, we find the concept of digging up consecrated ground to be highly offensive. Oh, it is blasphemy. What are you talking about? It's the premise of the movie. It's the title of the movie, for Christ's sakes. <laughs> Mr. Wood! Oh, yes, yeah. It strikes us as very inflammatory. Uh, why don't we change it to Plan 9 from Outer Space? Yeah, this is going to be frustrating. When I was a headliner in Paris, audiences always liked it when I sparkled. <laughs> no. <laughs> that was perfect. Perfect. Uh, Mr. Wood, do you oh, know anything God, these... about the art of film production? Wow. Well, I like to think so. Who is he? This is our choir director. He's gonna play the young hero. Are you people insane? I'm the director. I make the casting decisions around here. Well, I thought this was a group effort. Oh. No. And there goes the money. Goodbye, money. You're driving me crazy. Take a deep breath. Relax. I don't think the Baptists are gonna be happy with that. Yep. And now there goes the money. What do you think you're doing? I'm directing. Not like that, you're not. That's it! I can't take it! What did you expect from the Baptists? <laughs> Everything is constantly blowing up in this Here movie. <laughs> Orson Welles. Really? Of course Orson Welles had to appear there for him, huh? You know, the one film of mine where I had total control, Kane. The studio hated it, but they didn't get to touch a frame. Visions are worth fighting for. Why spend your life making someone else's dream? I was going to mention that. He needs to really just fully take control of a film that he's making and not have any outside influence whatsoever, really. And of course, that advice came from the man himself. You're going to finish this picture just the way I want it because you cannot compromise an artist's vision. But it's our money. And you're going to make a bundle, but only if you shut up and let me do things my way. There you go. Uh, <laughs> That's a wrap. All right, let's see how this goes. Because <laughs> it has been a freaking mess this entire movie. So maybe he'll get a break now. Um, starting when they get inside. Okay, decent audience. I just want to say that this film it's for Bella. Confused by his great loss, the old man left that home, never to return again. This is the one. This is the one I'll be remembered for. I hope so. Let's get there. It's only a five hour drive and it'll probably stop by the time we get to the desert. Wow. Yep. <laughs> Uh, kept strong in Hollywood, but mainstream success eluded him. After a slow descent into alcoholism and monster nudie films, he died in 1978 at the age of 54. Two years later, Ed was voted worst director of all time, bringing him worldwide acclaim and a new generation of fans. 
Damn. <laughs> Vampira retired from show business to sell handcrafted jewelry. In the 1980s, she unsuccessfully sued Elvira for stealing her act. Oh no! <laughs> so is this- this is all true then? Or at least the majority of this film was, or is. The end. Wow. Yeah, I wasn't sure if this was like an accurate, like, sort of story for Ed. Or if it, you know, was just like super, you know, just kind of made up along the way. So, uh, yeah, I actually, considering the end there, I'm wondering if it still is true, this entire movie, or at least a chunk of it. Or if it is kind of like, um, like the movie, that thing you do with the band that was in it. I thought it was real. And they still, they kind of did a similar thing at the end there where they were saying like, what? these people ended up doing in the rest of their lives and everything but it was a fake band it was fake people so i'm wondering if this is kind of like similar in some ways uh to that but of course you know ed wood was a real person so so yeah let me know about that because i'm very i'm very interested to know how real this is this was a pretty interesting movie again it just told the story about this director who really tried and failed with everything that he did and so it was really interesting to kind of watch this entirely play out. Whether it was completely accurate or not, not really sure, but either way it was very interesting and entertaining. I did feel the length a little bit. There was a lot that happened and it was kind of not repetitive, but it was just like a lot of different scenarios that happened and it was kind of just all back to back and everything. But that's not really a bad thing when I say that, it's just sort of more of an observation. But I did feel bad for Bella because clearly he was just struggling and Ed gave him that last hurrah, that last like pretty much just like dose of like happiness and fulfillment and he needed that and I think <laughs> him I guess just passing after that was kind of just like okay you're good you know like his body his mind his life they were kind of just like okay you are you are good now you are content and you can you know pass on because clearly he had been struggling for so long so that was really sad and it was just kind of hard to see him struggle so much throughout this but again i'm just glad that he was even though yes of course he did pass and that's really sad he did get that last like happiness and then going back to ed and his story it was just kind of interesting to see where this movie went with that because again it was a lot i mean it went from the first movie where like in some ways you kind of think oh the first movie he's doing that's gonna be just the story of this entire film but it wasn't it was just kind of like a chapter in the book of this movie and it was really interesting to see the whole you know like sex change thing like the movie and how all of that was portrayed and how people acted with that and i was gonna try to say this in the reaction itself but there was really i feel like there was really no point for me to kind of just like really sit there and just like talk about it but it was again just really interesting intriguing to kind of see ed cross-dressing and everything and how people reacted to that and his girlfriend was really the most like outwardly about it and his girlfriend was really the loudest about it you know everyone else around him kind of just didn't really like they were like huh you know there were some characters here and there who were kind of like why you know but the majority of people were just like same thing with the person who wanted the sex change bunny like that was kind of just like uh something that was just presented you know ed definitely didn't really have an issue with it of course dolores did because she was giving him all sorts of looks but honestly it kind of just goes to show that like all these things coming up about oh trans people oh this is so new not really. People just feel safer now. People think it's less taboo or whatever. So it's never really not been a thing. It's just been really hard for people to access that or like express themselves in that way, etc. But you still got people, unfortunately, a lot of people, especially in the news lately, who are um, really trying to stop people from doing that and that's sad mind your fucking business that's all i gotta say this has no effect on you whatsoever so shut the fuck up but anyway i just thought it was really interesting that they kind of showed that addressed that a bit and how it really 
wasn't a big deal. Like it was and it wasn't for especially for that time period. This was the 50s and this stuff didn't happen very much as often as it has been happening, you know, nowadays, but it happened. This isn't new, you know? But yeah. Anyway, I thought this was definitely a very intriguing film to watch the the life of somebody and his successes and his failures, more so failures, of <laughs> being in the movie industry and unfortunately still continuously kind of doing, you know, failures. But again, feel free to let me know just how accurate this was in terms of just anything, you know, the life that they were talking about, the films that he made and everything that happened. Like, you know, feel free to let me know. Again, overall, I did enjoy myself watching this film. Very, very interesting. And I hope that you all enjoyed the reaction as well. If you did enjoy the video, please feel free to like it. And if you aren't already, please feel free to subscribe. And if you want to watch the full unedited version of this video or to anything else on my channel, you can absolutely do so over on my Patreon. It is $5 a month for that. And to those of you who are already on Patreon, I really do appreciate you guys over there. Thank you so much for being there. Thank you so much for your support. And I hope you're enjoying all the full and edited reaction videos and the access to the polls. If you want to find me outside of YouTube, you can absolutely do so. You can find me pretty much anywhere at OGB Plays. Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, all that good stuff. But I also stream on Twitch occasionally whenever I can. And of course, a big thank you to Ryan for requesting this film for me to watch. I really hope that you specifically enjoyed this reaction. Once again, definitely an entertaining sort of movie. Uh, lots of ups and downs and kind of a lot of emotions as well. All in all, I did enjoy watching. Really hope that you guys did too. And I hope to see you all in the next reaction video, whatever that may be. Okie dokie. Toodaloo. Adios and goodbye. Bye.